Hello everyone. This is a D Pharmacy Pharmaceutics One Class Subject Code One Point One T Unit Five. In this class, we are going to discuss preparation of smallpox vaccine by using eggs. The eggs of hen are examined and selected for fertility. These eggs are incubated for 12 days and on the following day a small portion of the shell uh, is removed and the chorioallatoic membrane is inoculated with seed vaccine of a known potency. The portion of the shell is replaced and sealed with molten paraffin wax and incubated for 72 hours. Using aseptic precautions, the shell is removed and the chorioallantoic membrane is separated. Then it is placed in a sterile saline solution at zero degree centigrade. And then uh, by maintaining a low temperature, 50% uh, glycerin is added and the material is ground to produce a homogeneous suspension. And then it is transferred into its final container and it is uh, freeze dried and sealed. Storage of uh, these vaccines, sir, it should be stored between uh, a temperature around 2 to 8 degrees centigrade and it uh, must not be frozen. And uh, the reconstituted vaccines may be expected to retain its potency uh, for seven days when kept at temperature between 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. Uh, uses, uh, uh, it is used for the smallpox uh, disease, though we know that smallpox disease has been eradicated from India and it is uh, used nowadays for some uh, laboratory workers or laboratory scientists who are still working with these vaccines. Uh, or uh, when some people are going to other countries where uh, this smallpox disease is not yet eradicated, for them it is used as a required uh, vaccination purpose. The doses uh, for prophylaxis of smallpox about 0 0.02 ml is applied to the skin and it is inoculated by either scarification or by pressure. Next, we are going to discuss regarding yellow fever vaccine. And uh, yellow fever vaccine, as you know, that uh, it is a white, slightly yellow or light brown scale uh, of powder. And this vaccine is prepared uh, before use by reconstitution of the dried vaccine with the normal saline solution. Uh, we know that this is an aqueous suspension of a chick embryo tissue infected with the strains uh, of yellow fever virus which is uh, virulent, virulent for mice but although uh, avirulent for man uh, and it still uh, remains its uh, immunizing efficiency. The preparation method uh, we'll discuss the initially the virus is injected into the embryo of uh, fertile eggs and it is incubated for around seven to eight days. After incubation for three to four days, the after incubation, we have to leave it for further three to four days or additional three to four days we have to leave it and then uh, the embryos were removed and the uh, it is uh, pulled in batches, then ground and then extracted with purified water. The suspension was prepared the suspension was uh, centrifuged and the supernatant liquid is separated. And then the supernatant liquid was 
uh, suitably added with a suitable preservative and it is distributed to uh, sterile glass ampules and it is then freeze dried the air is removed from the ampules or it is replaced by oxygen free uh, nitrogen and uh, before sealing of these ampules mm, the storage for this is it should be stored at approximately zero degree centigrade at a dark place uh, then if it is stored in high temperature it, the vaccine may lose its potency uses is uh, it stimulates the antibody production against yellow fever and it can be used uh, from the age of six months or for older babies doses it's uh, prophylactic it, and it should be given by subcutaneous injection and uh, the dose is not less than 1000 uh, ld50 doses so that's all for this class in my next class we'll be discussing uh, measles vaccines and uh, poliomyelitis vaccines thank you